the New Orleans Pelicans, 24-16, are set to face the Dallas Mavericks, 23-17, at the American Airlines Center on Monday, with Dallas opening as four-point favorites. The total points for the game are set at 230. In their last encounter, the Pelicans secured a 118-108 victory over the Mavericks. During that game, New Orleans showcased a solid offensive performance with a 49.4% field goal percentage, making 39 of 79 attempts, and converting 12 of 33 pointers. They were efficient from the free throw line, hitting 28 of 37 attempts, 75.7%. Defensively, the Pelicans limited the Mavericks to a 45.1% shooting from the field and forced 12 turnovers. Jordan Hawkins played a crucial role, finishing with 34 points on 57.9% shooting, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists. The Pelicans, holding a record of 24-16 for the season, average 116.4 points per game, shooting 48.7% from the field. They excel in rebounding, pulling down 44.3 boards per contest, ranking 9th in the NBA. Defensively, they force 14.5 turnovers per game and limit opponents to a 33.9% shooting from beyond the arc. In their last game, the Mavericks suffered a 118-108 loss to the Pelicans. Dallas allowed New Orleans to grab 44 rebounds, including 14 offensive boards. Offensively, the Mavericks shot 40.0% from three-point range and 95.0% from the free-throw line. Kyrie Irving led the way with 33 points, 5 rebounds, and 6 assists. Dallas, with a season record of 23-17, has an effective offense shooting 47.2% from the field, scoring 118.5 points per game. They average 25.3 assists per game but commit 12.1 turnovers. Defensively, the Mavericks allow opponents to shoot 36.5% from beyond the arc and 47.9% overall. They force 14.7 turnovers per game but give up 117.1 points per contest. In the predicted outcome, the Dallas Mavericks are expected to win a closely contested game, with a final score of 117 to 115. The San Antonio Spurs, 7-31, are set to face the Atlanta Hawks, 15-23, at State Farm Arena, with the Spurs being 8-point underdogs. The over-slash-under for the game is set at 228. In their previous matchup, the Spurs suffered a 122-116 loss to the Chicago Bulls. During that game, San Antonio committed 19 fouls, made 15 of 34 three-point attempts, and shot 87.0% from the free-throw line. Trey Jones played a key role, finishing with 30 points on 76.9% shooting, 9 rebounds, and 4 assists. However, the Spurs allowed the Bulls to shoot 51.1% from the field and surrendered 47 rebounds. The Spurs enter this game with a season record of 7-31, averaging 112.6 points per game while shooting 45.8% from the field. They are effective from beyond the arc, hitting 34.8% of their 3-point attempts. Defensively, San Antonio forces 13.5 turnovers per game but allows opponents to shoot 38.6% from three-point range. They are giving up an average of 121.7 points per game. The Atlanta Hawks are coming off a 127-99 loss to the Washington Wizards, where they allowed 54 rebounds and shot 37.5% from beyond the arc. Trey Young led the team with 21 points and 10 assists. Atlanta has a season record of 15-23, averaging 121.7 points per game and shooting 46.6% from the field. Defensively, the Hawks struggle, giving up an average of 124.1 points per game and allowing opponents to shoot 50.5% from the field. In the predicted outcome, the San Antonio Spurs are expected to secure a 126-118 victory over the Atlanta Hawks. The Utah Jazz, 21-20, are set to face the Indiana Pacers, 23-15, at Delta Center, with the Jazz opening as one-point favorites. The over-slash-under for the game is set at 230. In their previous game, the Pacers secured a 126-108 victory against the Atlanta Hawks. During that matchup, Indiana committed 21 personal fouls but managed to shoot efficiently, finishing with a 67.1% field goal percentage and burying 11 of 18 three-point attempts. Buddy Heald played a significant role, contributing 18 points on 63.6% .6 shooting. The Pacers entered this game with a season record of 23-15, averaging 126.6 points per game on 51.2% shooting from the field. They excel in three-point shooting, hitting 38.5% of their attempts, and maintain an 80.0% free throw percentage. Defensively, the Pacers force 14.2 turnovers per game and are ranked 28th in points allowed per game, 123.4. The Utah Jazz are coming off a 132-125 victory against the Los Angeles Lakers. Lowry Markkanen played a pivotal role in that game, scoring 29 points and recording 9 rebounds. Utah has a season record of 21-20, averaging 116.4 points per game and connecting on 46.6% .6 of their field goal attempts. Defensively, the Jazz allow 118.5 points per game, force 13.1 turnovers, and have a field goal percentage against them of 47.7%. 
In the predicted outcome, the Utah Jazz are expected to secure a 126-122 victory over the Indiana Pacers.